Hello, I'm Ryan Necra, and welcome back to another episode of Urban Legends, where I discuss my opinion on certain urban legends. Close your eyes and go to sleep, all the good times are yours to keep. Now, as I have said in the previous video, these urban legends, I'm just giving my opinion on. Now this series is only for Halloween, unless I get enough support from you guys that I see that you guys would like me to continue it and make it a weekly series. This episode of Urban Legends is about the clown statue. So this first variation of the story is from 2004, and it's about a babysitting job. This girl goes to babysit a wealthy family's kids. You know, the kind of house that has a lot of rooms. That kind of wealthy family, like a mansion. The father tells her that she shouldn't go wandering around the house. Um, he tells her once the kids are asleep that she should go to this specific room and stay there. And watch TV. Sounds suspicious. Maybe the father's the killer clown. I don't know. So, fast forward a little bit. The family leaves. She gets the kids to bed. She's sitting in that room watching TV. But she's disturbed by a statue of a clown in the corner. She tries to ignore it, but after a while it becomes a little impossible to ignore the creepy clown statue in the corner. So she freaks out so much she can't handle it. So she calls the father and asks, is there any other room I can go sit in? The clown statue in the corner of the room is really starting to freak me out. To which the father replies, get the kids, get out of the house, and call 911. He tells her to go next door and stay there. Um, and call him back once she has called the police. So once she gets next door, she calls the police, she's got the kids with her. She calls back and asks, what was with the clown statue, what's going on? To which the father replies, I don't have a clown statue. Which is where this urban legend takes a little bit of a creepy turn. Uh, the father then explains that the children have been complaining about a clown who has been watching them sleep here lately, to which he has not been able to find the said clown. The police eventually arrive and apprehend the clown who turns out to be a midget clown. It's always got to have that weird turn that just cracks me up on the inside. Apparently this clown had been living in the house for several weeks already, and no one knew it but the kids. But the parents were never able to find him. He was able to survive at night because there was so many rooms in the house that he would just hide off in one until night where he would go and get some food from the kitchen. And that's how he survived the whole time. But he just so happened to be in the TV room when the babysitter came in that he just froze and pretended to be a statue. Um, and this variation, the clown is just waiting for the babysitter to go to sleep so he can rape her. So, there's not many variations on this story. It does kind of creep me out because that's something that's more reasonable than, let's say, like last episode's Bloody Mary. This one could happen and probably has happened before. Yes, why I believe the story to be fake. I believe this is something that could actually happen if it has not already happened. So, if you enjoy this series, leave a like. That way I know you want me to continue the series after Halloween. Subscribe, I release new videos three to four times a week. This week I am on vacation, and there is going to be a new video every day I am on vacation. Down in the comments, let me know what you think about the clown statue. Do you think it's something that could happen? Have you heard a variation of the story? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, I am Ryan Necro, and I will feel you later. Oh, hey there. This is, uh, about what it looks like.